What's up, y'all? I'm Mr. Freedom. I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to throw together this video for y'all, so no more chit chat. Here it is. Instead of the cocaine bear, I'd give it crack. We need a crack bear or a meth bear. Then we get the meth bear and the crack bear to fight each other. I'm Mr. Freedom, and I do YouTube shorts because I get boring after about five seconds. Hey, dude, check out this 38 right here. Are you even allowed to have guns? Yeah. Why would you even think something like that? Where's my live stream, Mr. Frank? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it different. Okay, your choice. Oh! Hey, Jeffrey. Yes, Mr. Frank. Check out my new M4. Wow, that's sick. Where'd you get this from? It got a third pin in it. I ain't never seen one like that. Give me that back. What did I do, Mr. Freedom? Oh, nothing, Agent Jeffrey. I'm Mr. Freedom, and today, I'm gonna show y'all how to turn these boring semi-automatic rifles into fully automatic rifles. First, you just drop the magazine. You wanna make sure this sucker is clear. You don't want no misfires. And then, you pull the pin out, you break it open. This is where you're gonna need your hand file at. I don't even know why anybody want these things anyway. They're scary. Why don't you just get on your phone and play Roblox like a real man like us? Hello? What? Mr. Freedom's doing what? Oh, hell no. Get to Calvary. We finally got Mr. Freedom. Why you even show me that? This shit sucks. This guy ain't even funny. He's just a fat Scary movies can end a lot different if folks had firearms. Take, for instance, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Baby, look. What <laughs> call off. What about Scream? Somebody calling me? This late at night? Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? The one that ends where I pump two rounds of 45 ACP into the chest of a guy with a mask and a knife. Hello? The only thing I can think of that you can't fuck up is Freddy Krueger and it. And just stay away from them guys. They're crazy. If I ever have to use my gun in self-defense, I'm fucking screwed. Because they will crucify me on court. They'll play all these videos and they'll throw that key away from me. But fuck it. I'm going to keep on keeping on because I'm a free motherfucking American citizen. I'm Mr. Freedom, and this is 10 things to look for to see if somebody you know is serious about their self-defense. Number one, they always carry at least two guns on them, pepper spray, and they still ask you when you get in the truck, hey man, you got your nine on you today? Number two, they constantly are checking the temperature of the room when things don't feel right. Number three, as soon as they enter any room, calculate what the best cover and concealment is, and they make a mental note of all the exits in the room. Number four, they watch everybody's eyes, hands, and waist. Number five, no matter where they at, they always sit with their back to the wall. Number six, when they go to an event, they always ask everybody, will they have metal detectors? Number seven, they have a gun for every occasion. They even have a nickel-plated Walter for weddings. Number eight, they keep magazines everywhere. A magazine in the gun, magazines in the front pocket, a magazine in the back pocket, magazines in the glove box, and they keep a full box of ammo in the glove box. About four more magazines in their jacket. Number nine, they travel nowhere with a gun, that they wouldn't feel safe without their gun. Number 10. They have a quicker draw than a character artist at the fair. I'm Mr. Freedom, and I work my ass off. But I prefer it that way. Instead of being a grown-ass man, living off your parents, eating Cheetos all day and playing Fortnite. Like you keyboard warriors. Ma! Yes, honey? Bring me my emotional support burrito. What's wrong, my big, strong poo bear? Mr. Freedom hurt my feelings again by pointing out I'm a sorry piece of shit. But I'm going to really get him this time when he sees this paragraph that I'm going to send him. I'm Mr. Freedom. And here are some easy steps to spot some of these untrustworthy anti-gunners. And I know what you're saying. Like, of course, if they ain't got a gun, they're an anti-gunner. That's not necessarily true. Some people can't afford guns or can't legally own a gun. But of course, number one, if they don't own a firearm. Number two, if they ain't got no common sense. Number three, if they ain't got no daddy. Number four. If they're a feminine man, number five, if they have pronouns, number six, if they really enjoyed what Biden has done with the last four years, number seven, if they're walking around always angry trying to fight somebody, number eight, if they only own double barrel shotguns to shoot off their back ports to scare people away, number nine, if they think gun rights should be more restrictive, like they like guns, but they don't think everybody should own guns, number 10, and this is a big clue, if they shit themselves every time they see a 22, hey baby, what is it honey? Sounds like the security system to our alarm. Yeah. I think somebody might be trying to break in. Oh, hell no. Prepare to beat your maker, motherfucker. Hey, hey, chill. I'm sorry. Hey, baby. Yes, honey? You had on clothes three seconds ago. Why are you butt naked now? I was going to dress comfortable for Mortal Kombat. 
I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I'm Mr. Freedom. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking my videos, for commenting on my videos, for all the support you give me. And I just can't say thank you enough. But from here in South Carolina to wherever you are in this world, I wish you the best. Peace.